Hello everybody. Today I'm going to play the Diagonal Lift map, which is a map that I've uh, made myself. Um, I'd like to... I was going to challenge myself to beat this with using just one hydraulic. Um, I'm given four. Um, I don't think I've seen anyone else uh, solve this with one hydraulic. Um, I don't know if anyone's actually tried. But I figured I would try myself, so. So, first I'm just gonna build a basic arch over here. I'm gonna use steel. Um, don't know how necessary that is, but. All right. Um. <clears throat> so, I need to have something there. And then maybe. All right, so if I make this a split joint, the uh, road, the piece that attaches to it by default is two. I need a piece that, um, actually I want that two as well. And this, and then I think I just need to, um, So I'm trying to think of how I need to do this. Uh, I think I need another piece in here. So then two of these are one, so that one part of that should stay, and the rest is not. That will be a two there. I'm going to put a piece over here. I'm going to secure that in. And I'm going to, now I'm going to try to build some kind of lever arm. Um, I think I'm just going to go around this to start out and see how much this will lift. Um, I think I have everything, so <laughs> we'll see how well this works. Um, oh, so one of the pieces here is not, this is not staying attached to the bridge. So, so this piece here is supposed to rise up with the bridge. So I'm going to So it should be two, because two is my section that rises up. Oh, it was one by default. But so a road, it was a road one as well. Oh, I have to change them both, don't I? Uh, okay. So yeah, that's a one. I can barely see in there, but it's like, slightly looks like a different number behind it. Um, I think I have to move it and move one of them into position. Whoops. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to move this down. Click that two. Place the road piece here. Make that two. Move this back up. And place the road here. Okay. Well, I'm getting somewhere, but it didn't quite go far enough. So I need to make this pull further, I guess. Uh, it's almost worked. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can get that all the way back, and then 
This is this is almost too easy. I'm gonna have to do another map. <laughs> um, we've got a little bit more distance to go. So I'm moving this back further along this piece, then it should have a more a greater effect on the pole or on the distance that it pulls the road. Um, it might also, if I bring this down here, I think it might do better as well. If it doesn't snap, it might snap here. But if it does, I can always put more steel in here. Yep, something. It's actually this piece. So. There's not much space to do anything with in this little area here. I'm going to see if that helps. I think that's enough. Oh, it broke this one. That's one of my guide rods. Well, it's, uh... <laughs> and more stuff decided to break over here. That's kind of funny. Alright, so I'm going to remove this. My, this hydraulic here. I'm going to move this guy and to make it a little more neat, I guess. Move that down a little bit more. And, oh, too far away. Okay. Okay, so place that here. I don't remember which one of these broke. Um, I think both of these two did. See, this is a really tough angle for that to be at, so... <clears throat> so... Hmm. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this way down here. I'm, tr I'm going to build another piece off of here so it doesn't have to pull it as at as harsh of an angle. Wow, didn't I lost a lot of height doing that? <laughs> it's interesting that this is a that was that was kind of that was kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so what I need to do is get this to. I want to line it up nice, so I don't want to just solve this. So I want to be able to solve it nicely. So I'm going to. Uh, I, th I think I might try going from a different piece, or a different spot. We're just going to make a lever arm here. That seems like a good idea. So I'm going to do a lot bigger little lever arm piece here. I'm going to attach this. Uh, I think they'll be alright, I'm not sure. We'll see. I think I'm really gaining that much efficiency where I put this. Oh, that. Both of those need to be one. <laughs> I was like, that didn't work. Alright, so the issue here is that when I'm. when this is moving this distance here is changing too much. So if I, um, come on, go. This here 
is trying to move in uh they follow different paths and then this here is not long enough once it gets to the top it looks like it also might have trouble actually pull, pushing it back down so what I'm going to do is attach this to I'm actually going to use a cable I'm going to go from a different point and hope that that I'm not going to have issues with it being too short hmm. well so here now it is uh, now it doesn't go high enough piece, doesn't it? Hmm. I'm trying to build some cool little contract, like a double lever thing, but I don't think it, yeah, it all moves as, as one, and that's actually, oh, I have to pivot it at different points if I do that. Yeah, look at rod. So, in which case I could do something like, is going to move this, does it hit the ground? Yeah, so that's... Okay, so that goes down, hits the ground still. Hmm. It's probably just a bad angle. I'm trying to get this not to the ground, so I'm going to try to do some kind of double thing here. Um, but I kind of feel like my... don't know if it's going to work. Probably won't. Not where I've got the things hinged at the moment anyways. So here, this goes kind of down this little arc. And that will kind of pull this, but I think it will pull too hard on this rod right here. So, if it was. So, this needs to pivot at a point like here or something. See what that does. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Um, I'm going to make another little lever here. Oh, that was kind of cool. Well, it goes up really high, and I think the issue here is when it get here, I'm like, I've changed my angle so much. When it's pulling here, it's like pulling to the side. Um, it needs to be... I 
think it needs I think this might need to go back. I'll look better. Let's try to go there. Oh, that's really good. close. Alright. Let's uh move this down a little bit. Oh, interesting. So I think let's try making this a steel rod, see if it doesn't uh uh oh. Ooh, hmm. Does it look like once it got all the way up to the end it went too far and then this cable just kind of started compressing. Yeah. So um and this looks too far just barely for a steel rod, so let's move a little bit. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully I didn't need that flexibility. Not really. So might be able to move things around a little bit still and make it a little better. That is that is almost perfect. Oh, it broke. Why did it break? Where did it break? Did it break this one? did. Okay. Um. I just kind of didn't realize it was taking a ton of stress. That looks pretty good. Whoa! Although it doesn't really uh, return to its original position very easily. <laughs> Oh, it's, I think this one, it, I think this one broke again. So I'm just gonna try to reinforce this guy. Give me a wood piece. I don't know if I'll be making this under budget with this design. I think I could get it under budget, but, whoa, that is way too, it's like, it's like floppy. <laughs> oh, I didn't put a wood piece. All right, that explains it. I think I can save a lot of budget over here. Oh, there we go. So, let's see if I can save six, 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 yeah. All right. Um, if I take that off, I think this is gonna be too wobbly. No, it's not. All right, well, let's Uh, that's a, that's a lot better. All right, and then I think I can probably just, I don't need nearly as much steel probably on this bridge. Uh, that's gonna be impossible to move. I guess I can move it inwards a lot. I need that one where it was. Um, I need to put all this back here. Let's see if I can replace these inner ones. Um, I can't go all cable. My builder placed these of wood. All 
All right, let's see if that continues to be fine. All right, that's doing decent. So, let's copy, let's copy this over here. And I don't think I need all that. Ugly. It probably would have been better if I used a wood bridge to start with. But I managed to get it to work. So, um, so I think this lasted a good long. This is a. took me longer to do when I. because I just decided to be a little bit perfectionist. But. So I'm not going to do another video or another level on this video. So um, what we have happening here is you've got basically a triangle right here. This is important. This pivot point here, the fact that this pole's here pushing this length here, this hypotenuse here, further than you're actually pulling this side. So you're getting added efficiency here. And then I'm doing the same thing with this big triangle here. So here's another triangle this way, and there's pulling it from the middle. So I'm using two levers at once um, and just continuing to magnify my pulling distance. So a lot of it is I'm trying to increase my the efficiency of my hydraulics, and um, a lot of it's just kind of the angles that you, know, you pull the bridge, where you put your pivot points, the, uh, three, po the three sides of your triangle, and the direction it goes are always important when you're do, trying to do stuff like this. And then of course I've got the three rods to stabilize the bridge. So, so I'm going to have to save this and make a nice video of it. Single hydraulic. Not the prettiest, but it works and the hydraulics are pretty to me. So, all right, well, I hope you all enjoyed my video and I hope you stay tuned to my next one.